can actually rotate sound in a spectrogram. Purely only for looks. It is not practical for anything. Maybe it is. Maybe it's practical for something else. But it works on this principle. Let's try a different angle. So we start with another skew. Oh, other way this time. Interesting. And then we skew up. And then we skew across again. And now there's our new Mario rotated. But it works in the same way. I will explain this out. So here we have the Azumanga opening theme. You can see how that looks in the spectrogram. Uh, and we have a linear sine sweep from 1 hertz to 24,000 hertz at a constant amplitude. And convolving that, of course, putting the gain down a bit because it gets a bit loud. Uh, but when you convolve a signal by a linear sine sweep, that actually just skews it. So that's what the skew looks like. You can also skew in the vertical direction with a frequency shifter. and I'm using four kilohertz ones because it has a maximum range of 5,000. So I've stacked four of them to reach 20,000, gets me a more range, but... What you can do is skew vertically like that. And then when you add them all together in the right order, so you do the first one, a, a, a horizontal skew, then a vertical skew, and then the same first horizontal skew, you get a rotation in the spectrum, of course. There you go. That's how you rotate stuff spectrally. Wow, crazy.